and Merka, the builder of Eridu. The beginning of the ancient Sumerian Empire. And Merka is a legendary king, listed as the builder of the Sumerian city of Uruk. He was said to have reigned for 420 years, but some copies read 900 years. The king list adds that Enmerka became king after his father, Meshki Angasha, son of Utu, had entered the sea and disappeared. Enmerka is also known from a few other Sumerian legends, most notably Enmerka and the Lord of Arata, where a previous confusion of the languages of mankind is mentioned. In this account, it is Enmerka himself who is called the son of Utu, the Sumerian sun god. Aside from founding Uruk, Enmerka is said here to have had a temple built at Eridu and is even credited with the invention of writing on clay tablets for the purpose of threatening Arata into submission. And here we find a very different reason for the confusion of the languages. So these ancient mythologies do have elements of truth, but are woven with a spirit-like demonic weapon to install fear and bind people mentally to conform to the new order. And Merka, furthermore, seeks to restore the disrupted linguistic unity of the inhabited regions around Uruk, listed as Shubur, Hamazi, Ancient Summer, Uriki, the region around Akkad, and the Martu land. Three other texts in the same series describe Enmerka's reign. In Enmerka and En Shugir Anna, while describing Enmerka's continued diplomatic rivalries with Arata, there is an allusion to Hamazi having been vanquished, by whom is very interesting and will be displayed at the end of the documentary. In Lugal Banda and the Mountain Cave, Enmerka is seen leading a campaign against Arata. The fourth and last tablet, Lugal Banda and the Anzu Bird, describes Enmerka's year-long siege of Arata. It also mentions that 50 years into Enmerka's reign, the Martu people had risen in all of summer and Akkad necessitating the building of a wall in the desert to protect Uruk. The problem with one language is that people can speak under one roof, and this would be why the empire lost its grip in 2000 BC. Then we have the systematic division of languages and culture. In these two tablets, the character of Lugal Banda is introduced as one of Enmerka's war chiefs. According to the Sumerian king list, it was Lugal Banda who eventually succeeded Enmerka to the throne of Uruk. So right at the very beginning, it was Lugal Banda, also known as Zu, that placed Enmerka on the throne. Do not be distracted by this figure, En Merka, as the title En becomes Lugal, meaning that the title and lineage of Lugal Banda, Zu, is taken forwards. Lugal Banda is also named as the father of Gilgamesh, because all good stories end where they begin. In a legend related by Elian, 200 AD, the king of Babylon, 
Iochurus or Siochurus, the name also appearing in many variants, such as Zevacorus and the earlier Sacoras, is said to be the grandfather of Gilgamos, who later becomes the king of Babylon. For example, Gilgamesh of Uruk. Recent scholars have suggested that this Euturus is moreover to be identified with Enmerka of Uruk. As well as this Euturus named by Barossus as being the first king of Chaldea and Assyria. This last name, Euturus, also appearing as Eve Chius, has long been identified with Nimrod. Marduk. Either way, Nimrod, Marduk, Enmerka, and Lugalbanda, and Zu are all mentioned as the father of Gilgamesh. In the mythological accounts, they all seem to draw power or divine abilities from the same source. Marduk has his mythical mace, and that would be Zu. Lugalbanda is granted lightning speed by the very same figure, which in turn enables Enmerka to defeat Arata and take the throne of Uruk. The controversial historian David Roll has claimed parallels between Enmerka, builder of Uruk, and Nimrod, ruler of the biblical Arek, Uruk, who, according to some extra-biblical accounts, was supposedly the architect of the Tower of Babel. One parallel that David Roll has noted is between the epithet the hunter applied to Nimrod and the suffix Ka at the end of Enmerka's name, which means hunter. David Roll has argued that Eridu near Ur is the original site of the city of Babel and that the incomplete ziggurat found there is none other than the biblical tower itself. The original Tower of Babel was built around 4000 BC, which was known as the Illustrious Mound, and is attributed to Anu, but also to the Birdman, Zu. The name Enmerka, En is king, or when the master gets angry, he kills. Mer is bird, or bird-like. Ka is hunter. The name Enmerka means hunter bird king or hunter of the bird-like king, similar to Lugalbanda finding Anzu. The mention of Hamazi being vanquished. This is a vase fragment of Ohub, which has a fragmentary inscription. Goddess Zababa, Ohub, governor of Kish. The second fragment from the same vase mentions Pozuzu, conqueror of Hamazi. This is important as this is Pozuzu, the statue of whom would have been placed at the battlefield to install fear into the enemy who was set there to watch over the destruction of man. Uhub is the governor, but Puzuzu is the conqueror. This would be the lion-faced god, the fire and flood god of the sky, the forbidden one.
please support my work via Patreon, patreon.com slash ancientmystery.